G'day, uh, Bryce here with another low effort teardown test video. Uh, I've just got a smart, another smart home product here which from Athorn. Uh, yeah, we'll just uh, get into it. So, it came in this box, pretty standard, a bit beaten up in post, but otherwise pretty fine. Some basic specs on the back here, so it's rated for 16 amps, which is a bit interesting given that most of the sockets in Australia are rated for 10, but that's always nice having the extra room, I suppose. Now, this feels pretty good, it's pretty solid. I have taken these screws out a little bit, so that's why that's not quite secure. But yeah, we'll just open it. And that just pushes out like that. off, set that aside, and we get into the board. Alright, so just taking the board and the socket out of the enclosure, we've got this pretty neat little setup here, so it looks like the, the wires just feed straight. I think there's two coming off of the active there. Anyway, we'll go around this way. The relay is actually rated for 16 amps, which is nice to see. Uh, and then I think around here, we've got our you know, KP321X something. Uh, little switch mode power supply, I see. So I think this one I prepared earlier. It's a pretty, pretty basic little chip. It's got a nice little feature set. Apparently that's confidential, but it was just on the internet. Yeah, you can see the, uh, there's a big inductor there, which I'm assuming is shown. It's just basically this reference circuit setup. Uh, what's that? That's just a little 3.3 volt regulator. I think I have the, yep, got the one. Nothing fancy. Get that out of the way. Uh, this is just the ESP Wi-Fi module. Oh, I can't quite see that. I thought this was meant to have a can on it, but uh, looks like they've just got it in the open. It looks quite neat. It's got the little board that's been put through and soldered on. That's quite, quite compact. Uh, there's the button that was on the side of the board. Now this is one of the more interesting parts I don't think you can quite see that come on no, anyway this is the what do we call it BL0937 single phase energy meter IC with integrated oscillator for socket uh, so this is what's doing all of our energy monitoring. Uh, looks pretty basic. It's got a nice little set of descriptions there. What have we got? So we've got plus or minus 0.5% error. So, you know, pretty reasonable for a fairly cheap uh, socket, I guess. I can't remember how much this was. I'll put the, the store listing back up on the screen. But yeah, it's pretty neat. I'm just, you can just take this out. It's quite a neat, neat little board, and it's not focusing again. Come on, here we go. Yeah, quite happy with that. No obvious defects. Solder joints all look okay. Oh, wait, come on. Yeah. I'm not going to go through and reverse engineer the board, I don't think, because I'm not particularly interested. But, yeah. Now, what we'll do now is we'll put it back together and uh, we'll just run it through the appliance tester just to make sure everything uh, is up to standard, I guess. To get this back together, all we have to do is just uh, get this button 
aligned with that. I should be able to just push this in the socket. There we go. And then that board just pushes down to align with those holes at the bottom. So then we can just take this. I was going to mention is uh, it's nice. It's got these little insulator thingies on here, so that's all up to standard. Yeah, pretty solid little unit. All right. So now I haven't actually plugged it into the wall yet. What we're going to do? Take our portable appliance tester here. Make sure that everything's all hunky dory. Earth continuity, that should be right, 0.04 ohms, very nice. Next. Insulation, all good. Leakage, I'll just turn the unit on. 0.02 milliamps, that's not bad. Given that the switching power supply wasn't isolated, I suppose. Power. Not... Yeah. Alright, so just on standby, 0 0.01 amps on. Can't tell the difference. This is just to make sure that it's not going to explode. <laughs> Alright, cool, that's all good. It's not turned on. Alright, so just blink and blue. Alignment. Pink light, that's nice. All right, so the next step for me is just gonna be calibrating the power monitoring. Uh, so all that involves is taking this uh, light bulb, set red for 28 watts. So that's just a purely resistive load. So that's mostly just to calibrate the current sensing and whatnot, I guess. Uh, so that it is actually 29.04 watts. But yeah, I'll do that later off camera. Uh, that should be fine. And that's about all there is to it. Thanks for watching. See you later.